Hey guys, um, today is November the 28th, and oh boy, have been today been busy. Whew, wow. Um, I woke up at 11 and did a little bit of running around, not too much, um, like errands and stuff like that, stuff that I needed to do. Um, then got home, it was about 1... One-ish. So, and then from there, I parked the car, got my mom and dad ready, <laughs> or, ugh, they take forever sometimes, but, what can you do? They're your parents. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, from there, I drove my dad down to his doctor's appointment downtown, um, which is about, mm, 20 minutes, half an hour away. Not even. Uh, from there, <laughs> mom got in the front seat and drove her to work. That was about half an hour away from there. <sighs> so I drove her to work. Then from there, came right back down to where my dad was and had to go a couple blocks away uh, to go and see about getting him a walker because there's a program here called Help and they're able to help you with getting assistance with uh, equipment. And, uh, <laughs> they had a walker in, but the whole frame of it was completely twisted. Looks like somebody shoved it in a trunk and, like, forced it. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, so, needless to say, didn't get a walker today. Uh, the, I'm on weight, so hopefully, <sighs> hopefully within the next week we can get my dad a walker um yeah and then from there went to the bank put some money in the bank and from there i went to the old place walked up went to go get my mail and guess what oh my gosh okay for the last 17 years for 16, 17 years, living in my place, I have seen over, well over 100, 200 people move out, and when they move out, their mailboxes stay. They don't get taken off, they don't, nothing. It gets stayed, it stays on the building, okay? So, you know, with the next week, people can, while they're getting everything changed over, they can still come back and get their mail. Well, Corey walks up, go to the front, and there's no mail. There's no mailbox whatsoever. And I'm like, huh? Excuse me? And, like, <laughs> I'll tell my dad, because I lived there for so long, right? And I saw there was no mailbox. I kind of felt offended. Like, it's like, excuse me? Why is my mailbox not there? And it's like, Corey, you don't live here anymore. <laughs> but I still felt offended, right? So I walk over to the office and I'm like, uh, where's the mailbox? How are we supposed to get our mail? She goes, well, um, actually, as of June 2011, um, every attendant that moves out, the mailbox gets taken away. So the flyers won't overcrowd the mailbox. Are you shitting me? Seriously? That's fucking stupid. Sorry, bad language. I'm just a little mad. So now we have to go to the post office crossing our fingers that it doesn't we don't have to pay for it because it wasn't our fault you know usually they leave the mailbox on for up to two weeks after always leave it on i have yet to see someone's mailbox being taken off in my area that i lived in like yeah there's other townhouses on the other side but i never seen them take off the mailbox before so this is news to me news <sighs> So, tomorrow we gotta get go to the post office and see if our mail's there and see if it costs us anything. <sighs> I am a little biatchy, okay? Alright, in other news, um, tomorrow I have to go to the doctor's. Um, about a couple months ago, I noticed that my uh, left hand here, um, it went numb. Just the fingers, like, just 
stupid screensaver. Corey, people remind me <laughs> in the comments, change my screensaver. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. Or was I? Yes. Um, a couple months ago, I noticed that my fingertips and my left hand went, they, you know when it, you feel like your leg falls asleep, it felt tingly? That's what this felt like. And it happened a couple months ago. It only stayed for like three minutes, went away. So I thought absolutely nothing of, of it. Like maybe I had fallen, like rested it the wrong way or whatever. I just, I didn't think of it. And that happened once or twice. So I, I didn't think anything of it. And then Saturday rolls around. Mm. Uh, well, you know that I've been packing and moving. And um, Saturday was finally the day that we stopped. I didn't have to move anything. So my body was relaxed and like, I'm still sore. Sore from moving heavy boxes. Like, I was a mule. <laughs> I moved everything and anything heavy. heavy. So Saturday was my day that I relaxed. And Lynn was over. And um, so when we were driving, I noticed that my left hand, these three fingers, started tingling. And I thought nothing of it. It stayed for a couple minutes, went away. Not even five minutes later, it came back. Okay, did the same thing, lasted a couple minutes, went away, and about a half an hour it came back, stayed, and went away. This has been going on all day, okay? <sighs> so I'm like, okay, whatever, maybe it's just, maybe I pinched a nerve when I was moving, or from lifting heavy things, and then Sunday rolls around, and the exact same happens every single day like hour it was happening and then Sunday um, about 6 p.m. my thumb is a constant tingle like I can't feel it it's like tingle 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 and as of now which is 6 3 p.m. this finger yeah so these two fingers are complete numb it's not going away it has stayed so I talked to my mom and uh, she had the similar thing happen to her when I was about 16, which is corporal tunnel. I am praying that it's not corporal tunnel. I don't want it. I feel I feel corporal tunnel, corporal tunnel is meant for when you're older, but it's not. I did research. It can happen to you at any time in your life. Doesn't matter how old you are, what's your background. It can happen to whatever. Um, you know, it does show that more common people that type more are affected with it so <sighs> and mom is saying that you know she felt it for years and then she finally went and it got so bad that you know she still gets some pain now but she had surgery to correct it and like hundred times is better she just feels it here and there but she waited so long and if I'm just in the beginning stages of me just feeling it so I'm gonna go to the doctors tomorrow and talk to him and explain and I must have like it's um it feels like it's oh, what's the word when it's stiff it feels stiff my wrist all the way up to just about my elbow it feels all stiff which is another sign so gonna go to the doctor tomorrow talk to him um, they'll probably just refer me to an actual corporal tunnel corporal bleh, I can't speak <sighs> the guys that look they what they do is they mom said they send shock waves like electric shock waves up your arm and see how far as it goes and yeah so I hope I don't have to go that far but you know if need be that the very end result is that you would have to get a surgery to correct um mom's saying like one of the muscles in your arm and you're in a cast for about a month you don't break any bones but you have to restructure your stuff so cross your fingers i hope it's really not corporal tunnel maybe i just pinched a nerve <sighs> 
screensaver. Stupid. Sorry, guys. Okay, I've been blabbing, and so I've been playing taxi all day. Nothing really going on. I got the black feather earrings that I bought yesterday, and I got a nice little painting behind me. Yes, I did that when I was in grade nine. I was like, why not? Let's just give it some viewings. All right, so it's about ten minutes in, and I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna continue playing my taxi. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Leave your comments or questions down below. If you guys know anything about Corporal Tunnel, please leave it down below because I would love to read your comments. And yeah. <sighs> Yay! Alright, have yourself a great Monday. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.